watched a film the other day. Oh yeah. A film that you can now watch uh, completely free of charge on, um, well not free of charge, you have to pay the fee on Now TV. It was originally on HBO. I think it's the best film of 2015. It was released in a few theatres, but it's a TV better movie. Better up. Ben up. Up, inside out. Inside out. The, the shocking Scientology documentary, Going Clear. Oh, I've heard about this, yes. Going Clear. Um, the subtitle is, uh, or the Prison of Belief. Okay. So, uh, what do you know about Scientology? I know a hell of a lot, actually. Yes. I'm quite well informed about Scientology. Yeah. Uh, created by um, L. Ron Hubbard. Yep. The science fiction author, which wrote the... Uh, Classic Battlefield Earth, <laughs> which was adapted to a classic film produced, written, and practically directed by fellow Scientologist Battlefield Earth, which comes down to nothing to do with Scientology. Yeah. Um, I know the basic premise of Scientology, what we believe in. Yeah. Um, I know there's a big like rift between what some Scientologists believe, but the original concept is that, uh, and this is based off what South Park's told me, yeah. uh, that there was an evil space lord called Xenu. Yep, yeah. Xenu's in there. Yep, he clutched up all the aliens around the universe, gathered them all up and threw them onto a volcano on Earth. <laughs> and the ghosts of those aliens now haunt the Earth and they're all the negative emotions that we feel yes. uh, in the world. And you can go to a Scientology Centre, pay a Scientologist $100 to have these evil emotions, these negative emotions extracted from you. Processing. For, processing. Yeah. And that, I think that's pretty much the basics of it. Yes, well the basic, uh, the basic um, crackpot cult is based on a series of like people will come and they will admit all of their deepest darkest secrets and what makes them ill to a counsellor kind of thing in this process in the counsellor the counsellor yeah it's basically all like the film the master which oh, is yeah. the paul thomas anderson masterpiece from 2012. <laughs> <laughs> you'll love the master no just you said master Oh, Peace. I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, yes, these, the master, yeah. They, these people, they teach that you have had previous lives, and all your problems from your previous lives follow you around, and you have to sort it's of got so the ghosts of aliens are, right? That's what. Xenu is part of that, but you have, you, have to, you have to graduate to level 8, I think. You have to be a level 8 Scientologist. You have to get your phetons in oh balance to God. learn about Xenu. Otherwise, they don't teach you that. At the beginning of the religion, they just teach you all the stuff about getting rid of your past lives and helping people. Basically, it's the worst form of cult. Yeah. They don't teach you at the beginning what even the basics of the religion are. You have to work your way up just to learn the basic theology. I mean, can you imagine that if Christianity, oh, it's it's just, it's, it's a nice warm-hearted thing. No, no, there's no God or Jesus. And then you paid like £20,000. Um, right, there is a God. Stick with us, it's a bit of a silly concept. <laughs> no, I was wondering, it's like, um, oh, Jesus died on the cross, <laughs> get paid $20,000. But he was resurrected three days later. <laughs> He's alive. Yeah, it's paying over 10. And he made water into wine. Oh. Try that as a parlor trick. So the film... The documentary is a haunting look at the roots of Scientology, where it's at today, and the horrifying... That's on now TV? Yes. Well, it's not even it. on the film bit, it's on the TV bit. Oh, I'll have to watch that tomorrow night. It's absolutely stunning. It basically comprises of... It's uh, an Alex Gibney film. Oh, yeah. And he does interviews with people who are um, former Scientology members. Not a single Scientologist from now would even, uh, would even be part of the film. No. They're famous for attacking their critics with yeah. vapid hate. So get ready for a lot of uh, <laughs> uh, negative comments on this video. Well, they even follow their critics around and threaten to sue them. And oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, basically they're a terrible organisation. But yeah, the film is structured where it's um, we've got a little bit of a prologue introducing the characters that you'll follow. The, well, the real people, the people that have been hurt by this organisation who've quit for various reasons. Mm -hmm. Then we go through the past of Scientology, all the way up to the what it is now. The thing that's most surprising about the documentary is the fact that L. Ron Hubbard doesn't come out as badly as you'd imagine. Oh no, I, I imagine not, yeah. 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 He comes through as an incredibly damaged sociopath, but he comes through as someone who doesn't really know what he's doing. Yeah. He's yeah. more pathetic than loathsome. <laughs> Like, he comes across as, like, he's a serial liar. Like, um, he used to make up his war record, like, uh, that he was, like, the best sailor around and he was actually discharged and he was violent towards his wife and horrible. But he apparently genuinely believed in all this fetons and negative energy and stuff. So the beginning of the film is, it's not good. Everything's still awful. He's still, it's still abusing the people that are under him. But then he dies and a guy called David Miscavige 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, takes Miss over Cav in the Miss Cavage. Oh, <laughs> obviously Miss Cavage. No, it's Miss Cavage. Okay. So it's the same spelling with a V instead of double R. But yeah, David Miscavige, basically what happens is there's a power vacuum when he dies. He hasn't elected a, re a leader. So David Miscavige comes through in the woodwork to claim Scientology in his own vision. Which basically includes running it like a horrible business. Oh. Yes, so the film is powerful. It's moving. It's very sort of um, straight in what it's saying. There's, no, there's not a single positive thing that comes out of it about Scientology. Um, some critics said that the film is unfair. I completely disagree. I don't think you can be unfair when you're talking about what is an evil cult. What can you What can you say that's positive about Scientology? Oh, that's it, really. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to make any comments in case we're sued. <laughs> uh, I'm um, a big fan of uh, one of my favourite documentaries is the Louis Ferrou documentary, okay. where he goes to meet members of the Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah. A similar awful cult. Yeah. But it's probably even more damaging. Because again, I'm actually picketing. No, so I think Scientology's worse. Okay. Scientology well, has a bigger, bigger reach. It's bigger, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, West Baptist Church is pretty much dead now. I think morally, it's, it's probably worse. I would actually Baptist disagree Church. because they don't. Because Scientologists don't allow the people that go to Scientology to seek mental health advice because they don't believe in psychiatrists and psychologists. Oh dear. Would it surprise you to learn that L. One Hubbard was declared insane by a psychiatrist? That doesn't surprise. And that's me. why, yeah, they won't. They don't. They don't believe in. in well, kind of mental okay, health. okay, maybe, maybe, maybe it's, it's hard to say which was worse, but West Baptist Church is probably equally as horrible as uh, you know what we're doing to human beings. But yeah, um, I love the way Louis Faru, um, like he, he's very direct. Yeah, and he leaves a very ambiguous picture. Yeah. It's pretty clear what he's saying. Yeah. but I do quite like how he just lets people speak for themselves. Yeah, like he actually directly confronts and interviews key members of the church, like the heads. Have you ever seen it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, great. It's, it's a great documentary. It's really, really good, especially the the sequel one. Yeah. where he goes back and he interviews people who actually left the church in the intervening years. Yeah, and what their experiences are. Um, What's that like in the Scientology one? Did did the video? Is it like how's it done? Is it done through like yeah, like how Lou Ferru is like a proper like, documentary? Oh, so what happens is um, how's it stylized? How's it done? Right, basically, it's all um, face to face documentaries. You know, like like this camera, T talking to camera, and then it has archival footage, new footage, and reconstructions where they did the voiceover, cutting back to people, and it, it's like and it's them talking with footage to um, go with what they're saying okay. to. To be back up, up as yeah, they, they become like a, like a voiceover for, for that footage. Yeah, so the yeah. people narrating it, um, who are like ex-members, they narrate it over footage of um, of Scientology meetings, L. Ron Hubbard, um, things like that, and also some reconstructions later on when the stuff that they say becomes truly horrific. Mm. Yes, um, what the film does absolutely stunningly, and I'll give Scientology one thing: it's a hell of a business. It, it acts as a brilliant critique, I don't know if it was inadvertently or, advert, or, or on purpose, of um, sort of disastrous capitalism. Mm. Basically what happens is that um, so the people who, work, who are Scientologists have to do demeaning work for the higher ups and they get paid 40 cents an hour oh to, to do it. Like, so basically what, the film is, what, the, what Scientology basically is, is like any kind of work but on like a much, much like heightened scale. It's a paranoid, delusional um, leader who's com who, right, basically this David Miscavige comes off as a horrible human being. He's uh, he comes off as paranoid, unable to trust anyone. Is he still around today? Yes. How old is he? How old is he? He's not that old, I don't know. Similar to Tom Cruise, I think, who's in the film a lot. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think he must be in his fifties or something. I think now. He's John Travolta in it a lot. Um, a little bit, yeah. Not as much as Tom. It paints a damning picture of Tom Cruise. Really? It basically makes out that Tom Cruise knows how evil Scientology is, but he basically gets a lot of things from it. Basically, oh. um, like there's a story that um, that Tom Cruise wanted um, like a um, like a new house. Um, I think it's a new house or stuff done on his house, and basically forty pence essentially forty cents an hour essentially slaves oh slaved away God. in his house, making a sound system for him and all this kind of special stuff. Basically, every one of his whims is catered for because he acts as a sort of marketing tool for Scientology. Yeah, yeah. Because he's in it, people will join. So basically, like uh, he's less they, he's, he's less embarrassing than John Travolta. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, there's a, there's the implication in the film that John Travolta is only in it because they have secrets on him. Oh, but he's gay, maybe. 
<laughs> maybe he is. <laughs> maybe, no one, no one maybe can he's tell. gay. Nobody knows. Yeah, but that is the kind of secret <laughs> that might make someone not want to. Um, because as part of Scientology, you have to you have to give up secrets about yourself to join, oh. and they they do that in a session at the beginning. It's videotaped, so you know it's you screwed then, aren't you? If he was to ever leave, they'll, they'll have dirt on him. Same with Tom Cruise as well. <laughs> But it just, it, it, it's this amazing documentary, it's probably one of the best documentaries ever made. Relentlessly just puts through constantly the idea of this horrible business of Scientology. It's basically like, like, like trying to capitalise on people's need and people's like, basest sort of belief in having to believe in something. Because the people who join seem to be like, you know how you have this idea of people who join like extreme religions? They're like, they might be drunks or like lonely or depressed. It makes it out as if it's the opposite. It's people who have, like, they want to achieve something. They want a sense of purpose. Because it's heavily at the beginning towards, like, helping others and trying to save the world. Like, a lot of the people talk about how they genuinely thought at the beginning they were going to save the world by being part of Scientology. Okay. But then as you go further and further in, yeah, then it becomes clear. It becomes clear as you go on that most people are indoctrinated at that point, so they can't. Like, there's a great bit where um, Paul Haggis is one of the people who's... Um, oh, really? Yeah, who was um, interviewed by it. You know Paul Haggis? Vaguely. He's the director of the film Crash. Oh, all right. And, million, and he wrote Million Dollar Baby and stuff like that. And he talks about how um, he, he, was, uh, he had kids when he, was there, when he was in the church, and one of his children um, turned out to be a lesbian, and they told him that he couldn't communicate with them anymore because they, they didn't agree with that. Oh. So then that's why he quit. They're just everything you hear about them is, is so shocking and so like um, you just couldn't believe it in the modern day of why how this like this could exist this kind of religion well it's a cult essentially isn't it oh yeah yeah, yeah. like they make a big deal and again how it compares to being like a big capitalist organization because they make reference to the the make or break for Scientology was getting classed as a religion because uh, you don't have to pay any taxes yeah, with the yeah. IRS if you're a religion in America same over here do you know they don't have um religious status in UK. They're classed as a cult. I didn't know that, no. Yeah, they're classed as a cult over here. They have to oh, pay more taxes and so that's what that's why they've got a stronghold over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It's more Mormonism over here. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a recognised religion, isn't it? Mormonism's Mormonism's not good, but it's miles better. It's than, miles, yeah, it's light years ahead. It's here. not a cult. That is a that is a religion. At least with Mormonism it's promoting to be a a, a good, happy person. Yeah. And, you know, basically. They don't they don't force the Mormons to like make uh, make stuff for celebrities for forty cents an hour. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Yeah. Also, if you quit Scientology, you get excommunicated. Do you know what that is? Well, yeah, yeah, it's a basic one where we banished in it. Yeah, yeah you, but you, you, banished. Have, you, have, you have like excommunicated priests, don't you? You know, like Catholic priests who have been banned and stuff, excommunicated. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about but it, in yeah. this, they they don't allow you to talk to anyone who's a Scientologist. Oh my God. So if you're a Scientologist, how do you monitor that? I don't know, but like, um, it seems like they monitor people's lives essentially. Oh my God. Like, um, yeah, so like, if you, if your parents are Scientologists and you go against it, your parents can't ever talk to you again or give you any kind of aid or anything, and they'll actually do it because they're essentially indoctrinated into this. It's like that in the uh, West Baptist Church one where the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the daughter of like two of the main people, like she left and you know, she despised what they were doing. Yeah. Um, and basically the parents are like, that's a crying shame, but she's dead to us basically. Yeah. We don't care. She's dead to us. Well, that's what Scientology is like. Yeah. Yeah, they do all kinds of stuff. Like, there's a brilliant bit at the end where they're talking about, um, like, how they how they did the corporate structuring, and the senior members had to. Um, they do like mind games, and they did like essentially they did musical chairs. It's actually well documented this, as well as in the documentary. They would just do play musical chairs, and like they just say whoever gets whoever doesn't get a seat. You're out, and then the people who are left get a, like a position, a higher up. They get to be essentially promoted. And what happens is that the music stops. The person who, who's stood up just starts a fight with everyone else, and it descends into chaos. Oh. As like a psychological technique to keep everyone alone and afraid, essentially of um, of speaking out against them. But you see, all this kind of stuff is just is just like it makes it out as if the worst corporation you can imagine, and it also has, is like a critique of using slave labour, like running yourself as like this giant conglomerate with giant head, like essentially like a, a giant head at the top that the can't be toppled. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's pretty funny that Alex Gibney's next documentary was a documentary about Apple. 
Oh, right, yeah. yeah. A company well known for using slave labour. Yeah. And for having a maniacal um, head <laughs> in Steve Jobs. A, a crazy eccentric head. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm not trying to say Scientology is... Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to say Apple is as bad as Scientology. No. The Scientology is just an evil cult that needs to end. It's just... Um, it's a horrible organisation. And this documentary, as well as being completely entertaining and as thrilling as any thriller that will be uh, made this year, is just... Uh, it's, it's the most vital film of the year, as well as, in my opinion, being the best. Okay. You can't fault it on a technical level or what it's trying to say. It's a 10 out of 10. Great. You won't see Scientology in the same way again. But this is the thing I was thinking. Who is still defending Scientology? Scientologists? Other than, someone other than Scientologists must I, be. I don't think anybody does. Anyone? No. I don't think anybody really. Yeah. Apparently they're down to less than 50,000 members. Mm. But they have personal assets above, um, like, something above 3 billion, I think. Jesus. They own property all over the world. They're, in, they're, getting, they're a massive corporation in terms of their actual reach and extension. If only they, were, if only they did merchandise, I think. <laughs> well, what makes it interesting is the way that they went after Hollywood so much. Oh, like, yeah. you hear about all the celebrities, John Travolta and... Well, uh, the two ba 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 Battlefield Earth is obviously like a... Um, <laughs> you know, like, it is seen to be like a Scientologist passion project. Yeah. Even though John Travolta strongly denies it. <laughs> it is, basically. Yeah. Well, don't even use similar tech, right? Like, in, in, I don't even stuff that I like fetons in that and things. The main plot of the film is all about um, one of the key features of the film is one of the main characters, Johnny, <laughs> yeah. played by um, what's his face. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's given all the information by the uh, by the bad guy aliens, the the, the, the cyclos. Yeah. That's the yeah, the, the cyclos basically give him access to all the. <laughs> alien knowledge and language and technology and history so he can understand the world around him. Yeah. I suppose it's a little bit like Scientology, you know, you, you've got to work up your levels to learn about the truth. Yeah. So I suppose so. Kirstie Alley is a Scientologist. Oh really? And it, yeah, you get all these different things about them based in Hollywood and all the horrible stuff to do just to appeal to celebrities to try and get more people in. I mean, it's just mental. I can't, I can't even imagine what the aim is now, because, you know, they're not going to get everyone in the world. No. I imagine that, you know, I wonder if his, his, his uh, end game, David Miscavige, is world domination. <laughs> like he's some kind of supervillain. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a horrible, um, it's an eye-opening documentary, just to see the level that they've, um, they've gotten to, um, and just to see how bad they are. Like, there's allegations of uh, physical abuse against people. Like, apparently, um, this woman had a child, and the child was taken away from her and placed in, like, a horrible, um, camp. What the fuck? There's all sorts of stuff. You should watch the documentary, just to... Anyone who hasn't seen, um, Going Clear should watch it. I'd love to see, uh, some Scientology defenders, uh, like the Morrissey defenders on the list of the lot. I'd love to see some Scientology defenders, uh, on, on here, trying to talk about how it's a real religion and not a terrible cult. Because I don't think it would be possible now. People are too enlightened about their ways. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think it could start again now. I don't know what the sort of lifespan of it is now. Like, no educated person is going to join now, are they? You can't... You honestly think someone would join now? <laughs> I don't know. It's people, isn't it? Yeah, it's People are unpredictable. <laughs> I don't people know. People are unpredictable. But yeah, uh, watch Going Clear, 10 out of 10.